Heavyweight Championship fight between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Jared Cannonier. in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. is five inches taller, he will have a three-inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, presenting the challenger, Jared the Killer Gorilla, Kennedy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Ooh, head kick lands and is hurt. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Rips the body there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight right hand, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Back and forth we go. Three minutes to go in the round. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Cannoneer shot is blocked. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Right punches there. leg kick. Good takedown defense by Israel. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Unable to connect there. Leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Let's go. Let's get that Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a good strike there by Cannoneer. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Powerful leg kick lands. He blocks the punch. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. Good punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. starting to show some obvious signs of swell. A little single collar tie there. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Both guys landing with conviction now. Round two winding down. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. 
for round two now. Israel Adesanya versus Jared Kanani. Ooh, what a punch. Nice leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. She has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice punch there by Cannoneer. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, beautiful connection on the feet. He's got it all working tonight, DC. He's in his zone. He's in his zone, and it's going to be very difficult for his opponent to keep up with him. Punch is blocked. There by Adesanya. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest. At one minute, 30 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still. He came in the champion, and he's going home with hardware as well. Congrats to the still UFC middleweight champion. The middleweight champion of the world. His name and that title seems to run in the same breath because it just fits. Over and over, he takes on the best fighters in his division, and he gets the job done. Congratulations, champion.